and welcome back to the Southern Stack. Life is too short to be serious. All right, we only got four cookies to try this week, but a very, very solid week. Um, I, you know, I already know that brownie batter and mint chocolate chip are awesome cookies, no doubt about it. And pink donut, eh, that's okay. But, y you know, it, it's pretty accurate on the donut flavor. But a new one, maple bacon. Not really new, it, it's just been years years since they've done it they were such a small company the last time they did it so i guess technically it is new so i'm excited for maple bacon no doubt about it that'll be the first cookie that i do try and i'm gonna try and do a youtube short on that so um we're gonna we're gonna have to eat just a smaller piece which is okay we're gonna get the same bang for our buck but anyways i do hope that you like comment and subscribe three very important things like comment and subscribe uh we kind of struggled getting the likes last week and I, I don't know what was up with that but i don't know we just gotta keep grinding another thing i just want to address is you know i posted this on a new facebook group that i'm part of and a couple people just like oh he's chewing uh, that's so unattractive you know that ruined the whole review Folks, I just watched like five people that I'm subscribed to just because I don't watch reviews a lot just to see, you know, how they do it. And yeah, a couple of them try and keep it reserved. I backed up as far from the camera as I can here. So I'm trying I'm trying to kind of cater to y'all a little bit. But the thing is, everybody chews like this guy's something new. He's loud. He's talking. And then he's chewing and talking while he's eating. And y'all get mad at me. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Don't get mad at me. Please. Please. It, it, it's just a way of life. People chew. I'm not chewing with my mouth open. I'm not. I, and I try not to talk while I got mouth in my food. I try and be respectful. So, I don't know. Can y'all be a little bit more respectful to me? And I'm, I'm going to put that in my Facebook post. You know, I, I'm kind of disappointed that people would criticize me for that. Come on. I'm, I'm watching other people. Everybody does it. It's a hard thing not to do. I'm trying to give you a review. So, anyways, I'm sorry. Don't want to ramble on too long. Used to do that for five minutes. But, uh, yeah, I got a four-pack. We'll explain that, too. Um, but, yeah, we're going to start with maple bacon. So, a couple weeks ago, when Crumble sent their typical voucher that they send me, um, they sent me a four-pack. And it's like, okay, well, I can use this at some point. I'm not going to not gonna complain because I don't always need six cookies. So today was the day. Today was the perfect day for that. And, uh, you know, I, I'm appreciative of Crumble and anything that they do for me. So um, I have such a surplus of Crumble cookies at this point. Maple bacon, by the way. Um, such a surplus. It's a uh, buttermilk cookie, maple frosting maple drizzle and bacon pieces i can already tell you that this should probably have more bacon on it but you know we can't we can't do anything about that until we try it right we can't say any make any conclusions on this so i'm gonna go ahead and take that off and we're gonna eat this piece right here so mm. That's delicious. It reminds me of their buttermilk pancake, um, but with some bacon. And again, yeah, I, I think it could use more bacon. Of course, you could go to the store and get a new slice of bacon or whatever and add that to it. But that is absolutely delicious. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 um, just because I think if it had more bacon, it would be perfection. So that's just my quick opinion on that one. I guess we'll do brownie batter next. Y'all are probably more interested in that than mint chocolate chip. Um, oh, it's falling apart on me. So, oh, you can hear it falling apart, see? But yeah, that is uh, mint, uh, that's brownie batter. I'm just going to go ahead and just break a piece off. So. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
it's delicious it's rich and it really does have that brownie flavor um you know i can see a lot of people easily saying oh this is definitely a 10 and i don't quite agree with that i would give it probably an eight and a half just because it's simple and you know i wish you know, it had even more brownie batter on there. I wish it was spread out throughout the whole cookie because that chocolate base is kind of crunchy and kind of dry. Mm-hmm. Outside the brownie batter, but it is a, it's a very flavorful cookie, very enjoyable. And again, I have a high opinion on that too. All right, so moving on. Finally got mint chocolate chip back. It feels like it's been over a year. I believe it has been. I don't know what happened to the bottom of my cookie. I don't see it in here, so interesting. But anyways, we're gonna try mint chocolate chip here. Oh, and I'm breaking this box. It is a flimsy box, folks. But uh, I got me a piece. I'll worry about the rest of it in a little bit. Mm. It's very delicious. But not quite as minty as last time. Last time it was super minty with that complement of chocolate chips. This time it's a little lighter. Um, I prefer it to be more minty, of course. So I can't really give it as high as a rating that I gave it last time. If it was as good as that, it would probably be around a 10 probably like a nine or a 10. I'm gonna have to give it a seven and a half this time just cause it's just nowhere close as minty. Uh, but I do prefer this over mint brownie. Mint brownie can be a bit chocolatey and make the mint flavor kind of hard to trace. Andy's mint's really good. I think they do a good mint balance, but this one's always been the one I felt like had the best mint balance here. Not overly too much chocolate, but my cookie kind of came short. So I don't know. If y'all try this, let me know. But it, it's a really good cookie if they get it right. And I feel like this falls short. But you you, you can't. It, it's not going to be terrible if they fall short on the mint. It, it, it's got a good minty profile. So. Definitely still a quality cookie. I, it just fell short on the mintiness. Um. And you don't hold my my opinion on that to it. So here is the pink donut. And really, you can just break off a piece. You don't even need the cookie cutter at this point, right? So let's try it. Mmm. You know, some days... I like it better than others, and today would be that day that I really enjoy this. It's simple, and it's and the cookie's not overly sweet. So when they do old-fashioned donut, it's kind of bland. But with this icing, it's very reminiscent of if you're going to Krispy Kreme and you're getting a frosted donut. It's, it's got that flavor. Now, I've been saying time and time again they should do a strawberry one, like if they do like a Simpsons week for whatever reason. They won't, but... They should do like a strawberry flavored um, in the icing. But this is still really good. I would give it a solid eight. Um, it's simple, but it's sweet. And it's very reminiscent of going to a donut shop. Of course, the downfall of that is you're paying $5 for that cookie. So you kind of think, gotta think about that. You could go to Krispy Kreme Oh, we're not going to even address that. It's a fun cookie. We're not going to lie. It's a fun cookie. But in a lineup for very solid flavors, it definitely is the low light. Um, you know, even though it didn't get the lowest rating of the four, you know, this is very situational today. I'm going to have to say it's very situational that the mint chocolate chip got the lowest. It's very situational. But other than that, you know, again, I'm coming out of this how I go went into it. Very solid lineup. Even Pink Donut was quite good. But, you know, if you want to get two uh, brownie batters, two mint chocolate chips, two uh, maple bacon, get two of everything. You know, get a six-pack with two of everything and just go for it. This is definitely, I would say it's a six-pack week. All the cookies are solid. I just have so much 
so many cookies at home. I gotta eat. Y'all even wanna know how many weeks I go back on these. It's it's so many weeks, but I eat them. I eat most of them. Um, but other than that, you know, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I will see y'all around.